Hey guys, um, so I wanted to come on and make a quick video about um, the shooting in um, Connecticut. Um, a 20 year old shooter named Adam Lanza, um, he was actually a teacher at um, the, the elementary school. Um, he was the son of a teacher at the school, and the school's name is Sandy Hook Elementary, and um, it's actually in Newtown, um, Connecticut, and um, it has, it is, it's, it breaks my heart, and it's very horrible to say that um, this shooting has been one of the worst ones and 27 dead total, um, 20 kids, and 6 adults, including um, the shooter, uh, Adam, he, he died, and, um, you know, I, I, I can't even begin to explain how much it, it, it pains me to bring such horrible news, um, as this as this horrible news flashed over TVs and computers and internet and Facebook and whatnot, um, you know it's it's very very sad that um, this happened. These these children, um, eleven years old and and lower, um, ranging from eleven and down, uh, I can only imagine how they felt and what was going through their mind. Um, I don't have kids, but I have a nephew who is five, and I can only imagine how he felt, how he would feel if he was in that school at the time of the shooting. Um, he's five, and I, I, I can, it breaks my heart, um, and if he was here right now, I would give him a huge hug, um, you know, because it's, it's so sad, and you know, I guess, um, his brother Ryan, they were questioning Adam's brother because, uh, they thought that it was, um, Ryan. I don't know much details. They haven't really disclosed much. They don't really want to disclose too much right now. They don't know too much. Um, they are saying that, um, he did have some type of, um, a mental, uh, problem but they're not disclosing what, and, um, it's just, it's so devastating that 27 people died, well, I mean, 26, uh, 20 kids and, um, 6 adults, and then, obviously, Adam Lanza, who's, who's dead as well, and, you know, that's, it's just heartbreaking, and, and, and I was just watching the news a little while ago, and, um, just listening to, you know, the news and, and watching these parents not knowing if their child was alive or, um, not alive. And, you know, they were interviewing some of the parents and some of the parents were saying that as they were driving to pick up their child, um, they didn't even know what to think because at the time they didn't know if their child was, was alive or not. Um, they didn't want to disclose that information over the phone to the parents. So my heart goes out to the families, um, to everybody affected by this, this school shooting in, in Newtown, Connecticut. And um, I just really, really want to say that, you know, if you're home with your children, give them a hug, give them 10 hugs, give them a million hugs, kiss them, love them. Do whatever you can because you know you never know when when something you know is is horrifying and terrifying is is this is going to happen and take your child away and you know I pray that that never happens again but I mean it seems to be happening a lot now and it kind of makes me feel like when are we going to put more um, stops on gun control. And whatnot. I mean, I, I believe in safety and whatnot, but I don't think that certain people should own guns. Um, you know, uh, I just, 
I just wanted to make a quick video saying that my heart goes out to the families um, affected by this and um, may those little angels rest in peace and um, it's sad knowing that those those children didn't even live like three quarters of their life I mean it's devastating and to think that this Adam was a he was a son of a teacher in Sandy Hook Elementary and, and I think that's the part that that baffles me even more so um, yeah so that's that's all I wanted to come on here and, and say I love you guys peace and love and um, be kind to yourselves be kind to one another and hug your children today and hug them every day and every day and keep hugging them until you can't hug them anymore and um, I hate to make such a video on such a devastating note but I did want to show my respects and my condolences to all that are involved and everyone dealing with this. I mean, it's just, it's horrible. So, I love you guys and um, I'll talk to you soon.